Hey you guys, I am here with my first fall look. This is a more of a natural fall look. I didn't want it to make it um too dramatic, but with the eyes, I think I did make it a little dramatic with the eyes, but I think it's more of a good neutral, a little dramatic with the eyes kind of look. Um what you guys think? Uh so I try to make the lips a little more neutral, but still playing the role of a fall look. So, I did go back to the lip gloss. Using lip gloss, and I'm glad I did. For this palette, the palette that I use is my Beauty Treat palette. And you will see how I did that in the video. And I also use my 4 Eyeshadow palette to really get this lid top. But I think this was a good neutral look look this is perfect for um a good night i think it's more like a good night time i would not suggest wearing this um out in the day i'm about to go grocery shopping so this is a more of a nighttime natural kind of fall look so i think i might name that like a natural fall nighttime look if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment rate comment and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy the video See you then. first I'm starting off with my black radiance um, complex primer it's supposed to be a matte primer but I really don't too much like it um, it's not really all that so yeah Next, I am doing my eyebrows, but I did them off the camera. Um, I used a Wet n Wild pencil and a Elf um, filling bra. Next, I'm taking the Ionic Cosmetic and using it as an eyeshadow primer, which you can find this um, in your Fresh Dollar Stores. That's the only place I've seen it. I don't know if they still sell it. I have to see because I haven't been in France in a while. Next, I'm taking my Beauty Tree palette and I'm taking it um, dark like a dark and brown color and I'm just putting it in my crease area most of the time when I do this um do these eyeshadows I mean these makeup looks um I just wing it that's why I don't really do like tutorial because I'm not a makeup artist I'm just winging it it's just a book that I came out with now I'm going into my um BH4 palette and I'm just taking that color. That's a 28-4 palette. I will have a link to that where you can find it is down below. But that was more like a light color. It looks kind of silver, but it's actually not. I think they have. No, I don't think. I don't know if they have silver now. I forgot. Um, but that's just a light color that I'm using on here. Like I said, I just mostly wing this stuff. I don't know how this stuff is gonna come out looking, but yeah, this is one of the looks. Next, I'm just blending it out. You want to blend it out to blend the colors in too because you don't want it to look harsh. So yeah, I didn't know for sure if I wanted to upload this video because when I looked at it, I was like, it doesn't look too far. Too fallish, like I went over dramatic, more dramatic than I thought I was, so I did upload it anyway. Next, I'm going back and taking that dark purple and that light purple, and I'm going to smoke my eyes out a little bit. Um, that's I see it supposed to be a natural look, but I don't know. I, I love eyeshadow, so eyeshadow and lipstick, I, I cannot live without one of them. I, it's just hard for me to do. That's why I probably have the most of both of them. But I just want to smoke that out and bring that a little bit in my crease area. Next, I'm going to take that um, brown color. But first, I'm going to take this light color and put that on my eyebrow. Above my um, eye. What do you call it? Brow bone. And then, now I'm just blending that out. I didn't do my other eye. I don't know why. But now I'm going in and taking that brown color and blending it all out. I don't know, with that color, I feel like it just makes your, um, makes my eyes pop a, more, a little more. So I just love using it. Like I feel like it brings it out. But this is the eye look. Next, I'm taking this e.l.f. gel liner. And I actually did it off camera because I didn't, it was taking me too long. 
and now I'm taking these eBay lashes which I will put a link to them down below too and I'm putting these on I'm getting good at putting on my eyelashes so yeah it took me a while I did use it I did start off using a um eyebrow eyelash applicator to help put it on but I like to squeeze them much better I don't know why but it just helps to put it on so I did get out focus a couple of times so that's why you probably really don't too much see me put it on but yeah I did get out focus but like I said the eyelashes help move it and everything so I have gotten a little better it's not all that so I'm still practicing it's like I can do one eyelash good and then the other one just like okay what's really going on so now that they are both on I am going into my room of London scandal eye what you call it eyeliner and I'm just putting it underneath my eye I love this I don't think I ever mentioned this as a favorite but I think in October I will this month next I'm taking my um orange color corrector by LA Girls and I'm putting this all over my dark spots it gives that big pimple on their face that um, they was doing a more hormonal time is you ladies you ladies you know what I'm talking about that time yeah when that bad boy popped up so like I get I have a lot of dark spots and I'm trying to get rid of it so yeah. but I'm just taking this um shot miss a beauty blender and i'm just a beauty sponge and i'm just using it to blend out like i talked about this um beauty sponge in my september favorite so yeah i really love this sponge next i'm taking my black radiant foundation in the color mocha honey and i'm just gonna put this all over my face I really don't too much use this foundation as going out because it's good it's great for a nun like this was actually my first foundation that I wore out but it's great for a like nun um, if you have like a you don't want that heavy coverage but it's like a sheer coverage which I really like because I want it to look natural it's really great for that but the thing is it's kind of oily so I really don't wear this out but I just use it for like filming purposes and stuff. So yeah. Next I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. I'm just gonna take that and highlight underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose. Yeah, um the reason I'm making this face is because I'm trying to squeeze some of it out because I'm running low. I do have a backup, but I just want to use this up. So that's why I keep looking at it like that. Um, yeah, I'm, I did do that a little bit. I never really too much do it. I just decided to do it for the sake of the video. And I'm just taking another Shop Miss A um, beauty sponge and I'm just using it to apply. And as you can see, it's so easy to use. I didn't have a hard time. Because I know with some of my beauty blenders, I, I have to spray it down to really get it to work. But I think as long as you keep it clean and stuff, it works like a charm. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Master Fix um, setting, spray, I mean setting Powder. And I'm just going to put that underneath my, where I concealed it. Um, I do have a love hate relationship with this because it's so loose. I hate this loose powder because it can't it be making me sneeze. It's like too loose. While I'm letting this set um, bake, I am going to use this gel um, mascara and eyebrow from Elf, and I'm just gonna set the um, set the gel underneath on my eyebrows. Now I'm just taking this brush I got from Shop Miss A and I'm just going to wipe that off of my powder off my face. And now I'm taking it Elf um, Press Powder by, in the, by Elf in the name Almond. I'm getting so tongue tied you guys. <laughs> and I'm just putting it on my face and now I'm taking my Black Radiance Complex Powder and I'm just going to contour with it. So 
contour my face and contour the bridge of my nose. If I'm not mistaken, I think I went, yeah, I think I went back and I took that dark um, color and I went underneath my eyes and I went back in that foil palette and I went and did underneath my eyes with it. So, yeah. So now I'm taking, and then I add mascara. Now I'm taking this Revolution palette from um, that I got from Ulta, and I'm just going to use it to highlight my eyes. I mean, highlight my face. And I did went back in my BH Cosmetic and add that highlight underneath there. Now I'm taking my LA Girls um, matte spray and I'm going to spread it in my face. And then I'm taking my Nika pencil lip pencil in the color coffee and I'm just going to add that on my lips. Now I'm taking my NYX Liquid Suicide in the color Soft Spoken and I'm just going to add that to my lips also. I really love this one too because it's more of a natural look like an everyday wear. While I let that dry, I did take this um, color from this lip gloss from Big Edge Cosmetic in the color Wine and Dine, and I'm going to add that to my lips. I think this is the perfect these three items for my lips are the perfect pair for a natural lip um, color for the fall. So yeah, this is the final look, as you can see. So yeah, I really wasn't too much sure if I wanted to upload it because I didn't feel like it was so much fun, but hey, I'm going to upload it anyway. I put a lot of effort into this, so I'm uploading it. So, yeah, this is the finished look. As you can see, um, like I said, it's used a big pimple on my face. So I hope you guys like this video. Give us a thumbs up and I'll talk to you later. Gosh, I tend to, I didn't stop using all my other shampoo and conditioner. I didn't give them away because these two have taken the place of them all. Like I don't even want my husband to use these because his hair.